Greetings folks, Lance here. What we're looking at here is my recent purchase of six EG4 LL battery modules with the newer welded rack. And this new rack has a lot of nice features that I really like. It comes pre-assembled, that's a big plus. It, it's a lot more solid. But I ran into a particular issue. I was actually videoing the process. And this was a showstopper. I actually ran into two issues, but I'm only going to cover the one here. And that is the bus bars. Um, these bus bars are not engineered properly. They're horrible. And... Really, the, the only reason I'm bringing this up is uh, there may be others who have this where the problem may not have actually uh, revealed itself. I guess that's a good way to put it, but here's the problem. Um, where's the example? Here it is. So they actually use these thread inserts. They drill a hole and they put this insert in which you'll see in the video as I was doing the, the install. And these are engineered improperly. They really need to go in from the backside. And I'll show you an example of that here in a bit. But these do not provide a very good connection. This is a potential hot spot. They do not tighten properly. They do not torque properly. I had four fail in the installation process. They just failed. And even the ones that torque down, I, tor I have this torque down fine. The thing is, is that the expansion and contraction through temperature changes may actually even loosen the ones that were tight. It it's just not designed properly. And depending on who you talk to at Signature Solar, some of the technicians are very understanding about what's going on. Others are actually kind of ignorant. And you need to check your bus bars, even if they all tighten down. If you have this style where the insert goes in from the front, uh, this is not a good design. This is not good. Uh, actually, I have a prior rack. Let, let me show you that one. So this is the first rack I got with the Light Power 4s. The LL was on back order, and I really needed to get a rack. I really wanted the LLs, but I just needed this. So I, I've just disconnected this bottom module here, and you'll see they do not use an insert here. Now this is a pro and a con because this bus bar is copper and the, the bolts cannot, I don't think, torque down quite as tight as a good, well-designed insert. Um, copper is a lot softer than steel, but so far this, is, this has worked well. I do like the inserts when they're done properly. So let me show you an example of a well-designed bus bar. I just received this set of external bus bars from Signature Solar. And these, these are a good example of the proper engineering for a bus bar. These are done well. As you can see, the insert, the thread insert, is <laughs> the thread insert goes in from the back side. And the I guess this is called the flange, very heavy duty. It goes in from the back, not overly long, so it would pr protrude to the front. Good thread spacing. This is the proper engineering. All this being said, I strongly encourage people to check their bus bars. And 
if you have the bus bars with these front installed inserts, uh, get in touch with Signature Solar to have them replaced. Um, Signature Solar has agreed to send new bus bars. They have ordered them. And when you get in touch with Signature Solar, you may get some pushback depending upon which technician you speak with. Uh, they're probably not going to be happy with me doing this video, but the reality is um, this is dangerous. And at the very least, you may get um, some poor connectivity where the modules do not charge and discharge properly. Uh, so you'll get a lot of imbalance. But this is a hazard. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's that simple. This is just not a good design. So... Here is the original video that I put together as I was doing the install. Well, it turns out I want to take this bolt out and it's stripped. It won't come out. So there are actually no extras of the M6s, but we do have some extra M8s. So to fit the M8 on, I had to cut off that end. I could have drilled it out, but then I would have lost contact area. So I just crimped on a new connector. So that way it'll fit on the M8. Okay, I need to clarify something here. I had just replaced this connector here because this stripped out. But that, that may not have been clear because the bolt itself is not stripped. It's this insert right here. It just spins in there. And I didn't really have a way to get to it, but then the same thing happened to me here. Same thing. Only this time it happened on the way in. This I was trying to take out the bolt and it just kept spinning. This one I took out the bolt and then tried to put it back in and it just started spinning on me. Well, Ran into another issue with these stripping out here. This one was so bad, it just popped out. I, I couldn't do anything with it. Well, folks, I think it's time to call Signature Solar. I really think they have an engineering problem with these bus bars. Um, you know, it started out where I couldn't even get this nut out because this kept spinning, so I redid it down here. And then as I move forward, this one went in fine, but when I started to put the nut in here, yeah, it just totally messed up. And then I came back to torque this one and it just spins, it won't tighten. And the same is true of this one. I can't get it, get it to torque, it just spins. So, even the ones that have torqued, it, it just makes me concerned that the connection, um, so it makes me concerned that the connection with this thread insert that goes in here just may not be all that great. So, I am going to call Signature Solar. And see what we can do to get this rectified. At this point, I don't even know if I want a new bus bar. If it's just going to be like this one. I suspect I'm not the only one having this problem. 